am convinced it was an angel. So when I was 17, I went to France to do a school out there to learn French. And I stayed um, for a couple days in Paris. Oh my gosh, I just remembered another story of how God protected me there. Well, I'll, I'll tell that another time. Anyway, so on my way from Paris to southern France where this school was, I was waiting in the airport, the flights were delayed. Uh, after a long time of sitting there and, you know, it, there was, it was a small plane because it was just a little hop within the country. And so there were several flights all sitting in the same area. So I'd waited for a while. And so I went up and talked to this older woman um, who looked approachable. And she happened to speak perfect English and perfect French, which is, I don't know how it is right now, but especially at that time is very rare. And, and I was not that proficient at French, even though I had already taken three years of it in high school. Um, yeah, I, I still was really bad. Anyway, so, so I approached this woman, and right when I approached her, they announced only in French that my flight, the gate for my flight, was being transferred to the other side of the airport. So I'm super thankful I approached her. Um, so we walked over there together. She happened to be on the same flight as me. So we walked over there together and then uh, eventually got on the plane. And while I was on the plane, I actually, like after going to the restroom, I walked up and down the plane trying to find her, did not see her anywhere, which is very odd. And then when I got to the other side, it was a super small town, super small airport. And it was really late. Our flight had been really delayed. And the family that was hosting me did not speak any English. And I really did not speak French. <laughs> and so, like, the communication that we had had even up until that point was challenging. And, um, and I didn't have a way of contacting her. I, I had her number, but I didn't have a phone and... I don't remember, I don't think the pay, there was a pay phone there. This was before the time of cell phones, believe it or not. Um, and so, anyway, so I was sitting in this airport. It was dark, it was middle of the night. Everyone had left. There was nobody left in this airport. I was by myself. And then all of a sudden, this woman and a man, the, the woman that I had, been, I had seen on the other side who had escorted me to the right gate, came up and, and like approached me and started talking to me. Nobody had been there. Okay, so she starts talking to me and, and like, oh, you know, where's your people? <laughs> Are you stuck here? And so she helped me. I think the guy that she was with had a phone or something. And so I gave them the number. She ended up calling my host family. They came and got me. And, um, and then she gave me her phone number to reach out to her if I need, you know, if I needed anything. And I never called it because I was so convinced that she was an angel and that the guy with her was, was an angel. And um, I really wish I had. I wish I had tried to call it to just confirm, but um, I am still convinced that she was an angel. The Bible talks about us hosting angels and not even knowing it because they can look similar to us. So anyway. I'm convinced. You don't have to be, but I am. <laughs>